I audible now? Good evening. So today I am going to give an introduction to this Java Full Stack Masterclass program. My name is Nandini. Basically, what do you mean by a Full Stack Masterclass program? For example, you can consider any website. So whenever you consider any website, say for example, there will be, there will be a, a railway reservation system, a hospital management system. So you can consider any website. Or there will be some other system, say for example, a patient portal. So whenever you want to design any website, so what do you uh, mean by this full stack masterclass program? There will be a front end user interface part, UI part. And there will be a controller, the servlets where the business logic will be returned. And there will be a database where all the transactions will be securely stored. So this is what we are going to see in this full stack masterclass program. From the name you can just understand. So what do you mean by this full stack masterclass program? There will be a front end UI part. There will be a controller, the servlets where the business logic will be returned and there will be a database where all the transactions will be securely stored. So what is the goal or what is the main objective of this full stack masterclass program? We will be learning so how to design the various user interface elements, how to receive the form elements in the servlet and store them in the database. This is what we are going to see in this 30 days full stack masterclass program. So we will be seeing part by part how to design the various user interface elements, receive the form elements in the servlet and we will be storing them securely in the database. This kind of full stack masterclass program it can be done in Java and Python language. These two are the different languages in which this kind of full stack masterclass program can be done. So in order to develop a full stack website using Java, we need all this HTML, the user interface part. As I told you, right, you can consider any type of industry. You can consider an e-commerce industry or you can go for hospital management system or you can go for some other railway reservation system, counseling management system. So whenever you want to develop any full stack website, the front end user interface elements will be designed using HTML, Hypertext Markup Language and CSS, Cascaded Style Sheet um, and the business logic, they will be executed in the servlets and all the transactions will be stored securely in the database. In order to interact with the database, we require this language called SQL, Structured Query Language. Whenever we are going to receive any kind of form elements, for example, the input name of the customer, whatever is the customer transaction ID, transaction date, time and stamp, time and date stamp, everything will be stored securely in the database. So, in order to develop a full stack website using Java, we require all these things. The front end user interface elements will be designed using HTML, Hypertext Markup Language and CSS, Cascaded Style Sheet and the business logic will be executed in the servlets. So, whatever the form elements, it will be received in the servlets. And everything will be stored securely in the database. In order to store them in the database, we require this language called SQL, Structured Query Language. 
so it is a, as i was telling you it is a free 30 days full stack master class program so this is the orientation link java full stack master class this is the orientation link and what is the main objective of this full stack master class program we are going to deal with the concepts for utilization of the same into studying teaching research work so whatever concepts we are taking every day it will be utilized into studying teaching research work and upgrading you can follow this registration link so whatever is the registration link you can follow this and every day the classes will be taken in youtube live from 6 to 6 45 in the evening and this is the date from 1st september to 30th september 1 9 2022 to 39 2022 this is what is the schedule for this full stack master class program all right so who can join this program anyone who wants to learn about this java programming language if they are looking for a career in java programming language they can enroll themselves in this java full stack master class program so so far i just uh, gave you an introduction to this master class what we are going to see in this full stack master class program next i am going to discuss with you about the agenda so what we are going to see day wise in this 30 days what we are going to see in this full stack master class program firstly i will give an introduction to the java language so what do you mean by this java language and i will be discussing with you about the installation procedure so how to install the uh, ides if i am going to use eclipse ide or if i am going to use netbeans ide so i will be discussing with you about the introduction and the installation steps after doing this i will be on the day 2 so this is what we are going to learn in this 30 days full stack master class program i will be discussing with you about variables identifiers data type classes and objects so this is what i will be uh, giving you a brief introduction to different java concepts what do you mean by an identifier what do you mean by a data type classes and objects and on day 3 i will be discussing with you about java comments what do you mean by single line comment and what do you mean by multi line comments i will be discussing with you about comments what is the use of comments I will be giving you some simple code examples by employing this comments. And on the fourth day, I will be discussing with you about different types of loops. So what are all the different types of loops, decision making statements. I will be discussing with you about different types of loops and decision making statements. And on day five, I will be discussing with you about ternary operators, switch statement, arrays and methods in Java. And on day 6, 6th day, I will be discussing with you about Java package, access modifiers, Java strings, string methods. I will be discussing with you about all these concepts. And on day 7, I will be discussing with you about inheritance. What do you mean by inheritance? What are all the different types of inheritance? I will be discussing with you about single level inheritance, multi level inheritance, multiple inheritance. And then I will be discussing with you about method overloading and method overriding. So, what do you mean by this method overloading and method overriding? And on day 8, I will be discussing with you about typecasting concepts. What do you mean by typecasting? I will show you some simple examples of typecasting. Abstract class. What do you mean by an abstract class? And I will be discussing with you about interface. And on day 9, 
I will be discussing with you about Java package, access modifiers. What do you mean by encapsulation? What are all the different types of access modifiers? I will be discussing with you about encapsulation and wrapper class. And on the 10th day, I will be discussing with you about regular expressions. So this is one more important Java concept. Exception handling. What do you mean by exceptions? What are all the different types of exceptions? And the next day we will be starting. So first 10 days I will be discussing with you about different Java concepts. And on the 11th day I will give you a brief introduction to HTML. What do you mean by hypertext markup language? What are all the different types of attributes, headings, elements, colors, CSS, links, images, tables. I will be discussing with you about forms, form attributes, form elements. So on day 13, so first uh, for 3 days, I will be discussing with you about HTML. What do you mean by HTML? And I will give you some simple examples using all these concepts. And then we are going into the subject servlets. As I was telling you right, whatever business logic, everything will be executed in my servlets. I will give an introduction to servlet. I will be discussing with you about the life cycle of servlet. And servlets, I will be discussing with you about some examples, form data, client request. How I am going to receive the client request and I am going to send back the corresponding response. The next day, so with this, we are uh, we are going to the first half of the master class. We will be covering these topics. I will be discussing about these topics. And from day 16, I will be discussing about server response. What do you mean by HTTP codes, writing filters? I will be discussing about these concepts. And then on day 17, I will be discussing with you about exceptions, cookies handling, session tracking. What do you mean by exceptions? What are all the different types of exceptions? I will give an introduction to exceptions and exception handling. Cookies handling. What do you mean by cookies and session tracking? And then followed by database access. How to access the database, how to upload some files in the database and handling date. So after covering, after discussing with you about these topics, I will give an introduction to MySQL. So what do you mean by MySQL? I will discuss with you about the installation steps, creating database, dropping database, and then I will be discussing with you about data types. What are all the different data types present in MySQL? Create tables, drop tables, insert query. So I will be discussing how to create tables in MySQL. How to insert query and drop table. And then I will be discussing with you about select query, where clause. Update query, delete query, like clause, sorting results, using joins. So how to select the query, how to retrieve the records from the database. How to use where clause. How to delete the query, like clause, sorting results. Then I will give an introduction to JDBC, Java Database Connectivity. What are all the different JDBC components, driver connections? I will give some examples of JDBC. So how to carry out some transactions, how to insert records from Java. And I will be discussing about some applications. Finally, using all these concepts, concepts I will discuss some projects. What do you, how to implement this erasure coding, public auditing project, counseling management system, software puzzle, crime management system, secure multi-owner data sharing. So I will be discussing about these projects.
projects. So I will be discussing about some six projects. All right. So this master class program it starts by first of September and it is going to end by thirtieth of September. Once you attend this master class for thirty days, you will be receiving a free webinar certificate. You can include this certificate in your resume, and you can become a full stack Java developer if you attend this master class for thirty days. So I will just give an introduction what we are going to do in this class. The classes will be taken via YouTube live. In order to get the YouTube uh, live class link, please follow the procedure. Ensure your subscribe and enable of notification symbol of Pantech YouTube channel. You can go to this and you can enable the symbol, and you can join WhatsApp group. You can just fill out this registration form. All these links are available. You can join the Instagram group and Telegram group. All right. So I just gave an introduction to a full stack master class program. What we are going to see in this thirty days. Thank you.